Now, for those of you who sell clothing, eBay has started a whole new type of business on the platform that can directly affect you. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at something eBay is rolling out on platforms right this very minute that could directly affect anybody selling clothing. Now, eBay is working out deals with manufacturers, with name brand clothing companies right this very second. Well over 100 of them from the articles that they have personally posted about this. And what they are going to do is start selling an imperfections lines of clothing on all of eBay from the way it looks right now. Now, I personally know people who buy imperfections, who buy clothing in bulk from manufacturers. And if eBay has worked out a deal to directly sell them straight from the manufacturers, a lot of people who get clothing from these types of sources won't have that ability anymore. The clothing manufacturers themselves will be able to make the lion's share of that profit. They won't be turning over the profit to a third party anymore. They'll be doing it themselves. Now that's going to do a bunch of things. That could lower the value of used clothing if you can get an NOS item with just a scuff on it or something for about the same price as used clothing. As I've been saying for a long time, corporate America wants our lion's share of the profits from these items. Used or not, they want to control what is sold. Let's go look at what eBay's got going on right now and discuss it in a little more depth. Now here's one of the articles right here. eBay launches imperfections range with huge discounts on 180 brands. These are coming straight from the brands themselves. If your prices are close to what these folks are selling, it is going to hurt Anybody selling the brand names that are part of the imperfection line. Many businesses, even like Ross's and TG Maxx and places like that, some of the items that you get there are imperfections from factories. These companies, these clothing brands, have been selling this clothing to third parties for a very long time. This is them coming in and getting the lion's share of the profit, as I said just a few minutes ago. This is going to help everybody the way they're pushing it because clothing won't be thrown away. It wasn't thrown away before from all accounts that I see unless it was so far messed up that they couldn't market it to at least a third party pallet seller or something like that. This is going to take a dip in clothing sellers without a doubt. There's just no way it's not going to. If they're able to deduct 60%, 75% off of new items just because of a little blemish, it's basically the exact same thing, if not even better, than a used version of those exact same clothing pieces. And it's a huge chunk of companies that are doing this. It lists just a few of the major brands, North Face, Off-White, Puma, Fila, Timberland, at up to 60% off. This is a category or an add-on that most people won't be able to do because it's only going to be tied to the big companies. This could even pull in Vero issues if you're selling stuff similarly. They're not going to allow competitors to sell the exact same type of items as they are. I just can't see it. Unless you're licensed with an invoice or have permission, have a slip from them saying, yes, I am a third-party seller for one of these clothing companies. This is going to incentivize all the clothing companies when they realize they could be making a lot more money out of the items instead of us, instead of sellers, resellers. Now, I'm not saying the sky's falling, but this is 100% going to take a dip in some people's sales without a doubt. I personally would rather buy an uh, item with a scuff on it than a used item and take the chance that there's nothing wrong with it. It's been washed if it's used, chances are. It should be because that's how you have to sell clothing, but... The point, again, is that this is going to take a dip out of what's available, first off, what people I know can buy, as well as the ability to sell it. This item, this option, won't be available to everybody from what I see on here. These are items, again, that they couldn't sell at full price. Doesn't mean they haven't been selling them in the past, as I said. This isn't them trying to save stuff from being thrown away, in my opinion. This is them trying to get the share of the profits that we use folks, resellers, are getting now. 
It, it's a no-brainer when they look at the numbers. They see how much people make off of their clothing brands. You've got to be crazy to think that they don't know that. It has nothing to do with eBay. It has nothing to do with YouTube. They realize that this is a secondhand market that's huge. This can take a huge dip out of any secondhand market if you can buy them at almost the same price as a used item, but new. They're going to have to describe it. It's going to be a category that actually says imperfect clothing. Uh, so you're going to have to be very careful. Now, this is rolling out in UK. The vast majority of everything I see rolling out in UK usually gets over here in a very short period of time. There's no reason on earth if they're doing it in the UK that they wouldn't already be looking at the market over here. This market would be bigger possibly with many of these brands than it would be in the UK. So that's going to be the issue going forward. Ina covered it just a couple days ago as well on e-commerce bites. eBay helps brands offload imperfections in the name of sustainability. Now that's the take of the companies that are saying they're part of this program. Now this is again UK right now, but I can almost 100% guarantee you if this goes over even remotely well, eBay is going to allow these companies to do it on the other platforms. It's going to be a bona fide option. Now, this one here states up to 70% off at least 150 designer brands. This may have been a little earlier than the last article, which was from yesterday. They may have announced more information on it as well. So there's going to be some major disruption, in my opinion, on clothing sellers. Clothing already is a flooded market. Most people would rather have a discounted new item than a used item any day of the week. I would rather buy myself as well as anybody that I know and talk to would rather buy something that is new, even if it has a slight issue with it. But again, because a used item can have all sorts of issues. If you don't see this as a potential to hurt a ton of clothing sellers, you better be thinking again because this is them going directly after the markets that we sell in. It's their only way to be able to recoup the money again. Instead of passing it on to third-party people like you, me, and everybody else and let them resell it. This could mean they could hire a few people in departments to just take photos at each one of these stores and they'd get a lion's share of the profit again. It's going to rival and challenge used clothing. Used clothing is usually 30-40% at tops of what new items sell for. And that's exactly what the pricing discount is in here. That's the troubling sign. I would also recommend checking out some of the industrial journals that are talking about this. Many of them are discussing options exactly like this right now. The manufacturing industry has been doing this. They'll retweak things that they pull out of line productions and they do the exact same thing. They resell them themselves. This is going to be a trend. There's no doubt about it. It already is going on. There's far too many main companies that are already involved with this right this very second. All the big wigs. And if one big company does it, they do okay. All of the other companies are going to jump on the bandwagon. Now, this may not just affect clothing at this point. It may affect new items in general. Scratch and dent items. In the past, they were blown out dirt cheap. The companies may be able to market themselves and sell them for a higher amount with a warranty on it. That's how they can get some big play in it versus a regular person, a regular reseller selling the exact same things. Now, one thing I need to add, too, is all of the ones that are in the imperfection range have 30-day free returns and free shipping. Now, that's a better policy than the vast, vast, vast majority of every single reseller that I know that does clothing. Most of them either have no returns or do not have a 30-day free return policy. They're going to undercut people selling used clothing without a doubt. They're going to offer a better return policy on clothing without a doubt. They're going to offer free returns on top of it free shipping on top of it on all of the items that list as imperfections. This is going to go over like gangbusters, in my opinion. It's going to be a thing that we'll see over here if anything at all happens good with this program. It's not going to hurt anybody at this point other than the resellers. The problem, again, is that you'll be now competing directly with your used items for imperfections from the company that makes it. Most people would trust the company that makes it over some 
Joe Schmo reseller like me or anybody else. As I said, I try to stay away from these sorts of items, all NOS clothing and things like that. I don't want to be shut down. The return rates are huge. This is going to drive a whole bunch of stuff in the market. Most people will rather take an imperfection over a clothing that was used, in my opinion. Something new, something straight off the shelf is more appealing than something that's been worn many, many times. But Anyway, that's my take on it. Please, please, please pay attention to this and look into some other items for possibility of selling if you're only selling clothing. Just don't be stuck at the end of the day with items you can't sell or you have so much competition from corporate America that it's not worth your time. Look into it now before it's too late. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Puppy chow helps little puppies grow into big puppies. But then its job is only half done, because even after he looks full grown on the outside, inside his muscles are still forming and his bones are still growing for about a full year. That's why he needs a full year of the extra nutrition in puppy chow. Puppy chow for a full year till he's full grown.